We've had the Sony A7S III for a while now, and we thought it's about time we checked out this gyro data catalyst browse business. For that though, we're going to need a change of scenery. This will do. We did some testing of the Catalyst Browse stabilization capabilities versus IBIS versus Active Steady Shot. It's not a thoroughly scientific test, that's definitely not what we're about, but it is a real life comparison in a situation where we really didn't want to use a gimbal. So just quickly, Catalyst Browse is Sony's own creation, uh, a software for managing your footage. It happens to be capable of picking up the gyro data from your camera and using that to stabilise the footage. Unbelievable, Jeff. So we wanted to find out whether it was worth the time and effort to import and export our footage through this external software, but more importantly, if it was actually worth risking the shot in the first place, because in order to use the Catalyst Browse stabilisation, you have to do two things which seemingly jeopardise the footage. Number one, keep the IBIS turned off completely, no steady shot, no active steady shot, nothing. And number two, over crank the shutter, which is a pro tip that we picked up, which helps to keep the footage really sharp and looking its best after the stabilization. And just a little spoiler here, we did test this briefly and we can confirm that following the normal 180 degree shutter speed rule did produce some strange motion blur, as you can see here. So you want to get rid of that whilst filming by pushing the shutter as high as your pain threshold will allow. Yeah, we'll also pop a link below um, to another video which explains this much better than we probably did, if you want more information on that. But is it just some baseless gimmick, or will you never need to own a gimbal again? Bum, bum, bum. Well, we will let the shots do the talking. Well, I don't quite know what we were expecting, but it was not this. The stabilization is way more consistent than anything we've seen um, built into the software, so like Final Cut, Adobe Premiere, anything like that. It has way less sort of active artifacting or jello or any of these kind of unnatural perspective shifts. I mean, it makes sense because it's actually using the correct data. Yes, science! Okay. Just like with any stabilization, it does crop the footage. Its suggested crop with footage so shaky as skiing is extremely dramatic, up to like 75-80%. But you can override this with the manual settings, and we managed to find a pretty good sweet spot at around the 25% mark, where the footage is already looking really stable, and we're maintaining most of that frame, um, keeping it completely usable for our project. We did also throw in a couple of IBIS and active steady shot tests in there just to see what that produced, but unfortunately it wasn't very scientific at all. Different terrains and speeds made it very difficult to compare, but what we can confirm is that not only is the Sony A7S III absolutely banging, but also that Catalyst Browse is simply an unreal tool that we cannot wait to explore more. Sometimes you can see some strange bits going on, but that's just part and parcel of absolutely knobbing yourself down a mountain and hoping for buttery smooth footage. It will certainly have applications within our workflow. Getting that footage um, when we're just out for a day of skiing 
would have meant taking a huge gimbal, a big setup, whereas we were able to get perfectly usable footage um, with just a mirrorless game changer. Incredible. And now that we know it's the absolute Don, here are a few pro tips. Just want to add here that this is the first time we've actually used Catalyst Browse, so it's not like an in-depth review or anything, but we just wanted to take you along with us as we find out what it's all about. Right, so that's about it from us today. Yes, and if you love the Sony A7S III as much as we do, you should check out our cinematic vlog where we really push the low light capabilities to the extreme in that one. Yeah. Well, folks, it's been a pleasure as always. It's goodbye from us. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, friends. Just goodbye.